good morning students today i will be starting with the second chapter of biology the flower the book i am referring here is living science biology for class 6th icsc the author of the book is dk rao and the publication is ratna sagar publication this whole chapter is all about flowers so first of all we should know what is flower flower is the reproductive part of the flowering plants all the plants which produce flowers are called flowering plants and they are all kept together or grouped together because of the same reason now if we see flowers all around us we will find variety of flowers which differ in their shape size and color if we look at the flowers of Uh, plants like grasses uh, we will find they have very small that is tiny and dull flowers whereas if we look at the flowers of rose dahlia we will find them very bright in color and they are also known for their beautiful formation talking about the structure of a flower children uh, the flowers can vary in their shape size and color but the basic structure of all the flowers remains the same for the structure of a flower we are going to refer this diagram so as you can see children there is one structure this which is called as a stalk the flowers have a stalk like structure through which it is connected to the stem and the term given to this structure is known as pedicel so the flowers have a stalk with which it is connected to the stem and this structure is known as the pedicel now plants like tulip and lily they have only one pedicel they have only one stalk and it will be bearing a single flower it will be having only one flower but there are some plants such as uh, lilac in which this pedicel is branched that means this pedicel is again having many branches and it will be bearing many flowers some of the flowers which do not have a pedicel these flowers are known as sessile flowers the flowers which do not have this stalk or pedicel is known as sessile flower a typical flower will be having four basic parts or whorls calyx corolla androecium and gynaecium these are the four whorls of a flower the androecium and gynaecium are known as the essential whorls of the flower since they play an important role in reproduction whereas calyx and corolla are known as the non essential whorls all these whorls are arranged in concentric rings that means one ring after the other all these four whorls children they arise from the tip of the pedicel that means the stalk which is bearing the flower so the, this tip of the pedicel is swollen and is known as the thalamus and from the thalamus all the four whorls of the flower arise this thalamus is also known as the receptacle 